بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم আসসালামু আলাইকুম রহমতুল্লাহি ওয়া বারাকাতু আলহামদুলিল্লাহি রাব্বিল আলামিন সম্মানিত ভাই বোনেরা আপনার সবাইকে স্বাগত জানাতে ইউটাওয়ারের পক্ষ থেকে আমার নাম ইসহাক এক মাসের পরে আপনার সাথে আবার দেখা হলো আলহামদুলিল্লাহ আমরা রমজানের পরে আসলে উই গেন স্পিক অ্যাবাউট হোয়াট ইউ অ্যাচিভড ইন রমজান ইনশাআল্লাহ আপনারা অনেকেই খুশি হবেন দ্য অ্যাচিভমেন্ট উই হ্যাড ইনশাআল্লাহ আপনারা আমাদের সাথে डायरेक्टली ফোন করে আলাপ করতে পারেন আপনাদের কি কি করেছেন সুন্দর সুন্দর জিনিসগুলো আমাদের সাথে শেয়ার করবেন ইনশাআল্লাহ সো লেটস মেক ইট আ লাইভ ইন্টারঅ্যাকটিভ শো ইনশাআল্লাহ সো আজকে হলো গিয়ে আপনার অ্যাচিভমেন্ট ইন রমজান সো আমাদের সাথে আছেন আলহামদুলিল্লাহ ফরহাদ ভাই হিজ ইংলিশ টিচার মাশাআল্লাহ फ्रॉम বয় কমিউনিটি প্রজেক্ট ওয়েলকাম টু আওয়ার শো আসসালামু আলাইকুম সালামু আলাইকুম ওয়া রাহমাতুল্লাহি ওয়া বারাকাতুহু থ্যাংক ইউ ফর দ্য ইনভিটেশন Mashallah. So you're a teacher, right? Yes, English teacher. Barakat. So you missed your teaching today, did you? Mr. Rahman, thank you for making the time, inshallah. Then we have uh, Like Bai, Like Mia Bai. How are you? Welcome to I'm our show. I'm fine, thank you. Alhamdulillah. Shaq Bai, thank you for inviting us here. And to the viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah's peace and blessing be all upon all of you. Eid Mubarak to you all. Mashallah. Yeah. Bit late, but of course, it's never late. No, Alhamdulillah. Mashallah. Bit late. <laughs> you know, like, but you're one of the, Mashallah, in your, for your age, you're one of the most activist person I've seen probably in the community, honestly. Amazing. I'm still young. Still young, of course. <laughs> 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 um, and then we have, Mashallah, a uh, running man, you know. Running man. MFA Jaman, Mashallah. He done his um, uh, second, um, uh, what do you call them? Uh, marathon, Mashallah. 26 miles, big, big thing. Also, Mashallah, recently, in, especially in Ramadan, he worked 116 miles. Subhanallah, Allah, Allah, it's amazing. 360 miles. 660 miles. 660 miles. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I got it all wrong, inshallah. So, Zaman Bhai, welcome to our show. Thank you. Um, Assalamu alaikum uh, and uh, good evening to all my viewers. Thank you very much uh, to invite me and because you always support me and this thing actually is a big ground for us to spread our message, what we are doing and why we are doing and thanks uh, to Ikra TV to help and to promote our work and all my work alhamdulillah is for sake of Allah and for the humanity. MashaAllah. If you could tell us how you've been selected, especially the uh, great work you've done. Actually first I want to say about the, the great big work. Uh, it is an uh, Eden project which is uh, funded by National Lottery and uh, we started a uh, work from uh, Yorkshire, might be um, you know the, the Joe Cox um, MP. Um, her constituency from the Yorkshire so for her memory and we started from there we started in the five roads uh, Northern Ireland Scotland Wales Cornwall and the London and actually I was nominated um, for the London road actually and uh, it's not easy job actually because on the way we have to face um, the media and same time till they want someone who had this previous experience to work with the community and alhamdulillah um, I'm doing lots of work, especially in the London, in the uh, in my local community and all around the London actually. And uh, this is the amazing experience. And what we have done, we try to promote uh, the people who is working in the community, shine a light, what kind of work they're doing, and to promote them, to promote them because they're building a strong bridge between of communities. Course. And same time, we visit to them, we see what kind of work they're doing. It doesn't matter what is their background, what is their color and faith. And same time, we try to spread their message to other communities. Yes, they're doing something, you can do it. So you are the only person, Muslim and Bangladeshi background? Yes, Alhamdulillah, only I was the Muslim. And um, you know, this is month of Ramadan. And um, all the way, it was 21 days walk. And we did 616 miles. So and Alhamdulillah, I was fasting. Yeah. In how many days in the middle did you walk up to? Every, every day. Every yeah. day. How many miles did you walk? Uh, we used about 20, 22 miles. Mm -hmm. Subhanallah, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. How many people do you think you've reached? How many new faces have you met? Many people. Any idea? You no know, idea. I think um, many people, but I would say all this were they're really amazing. They're doing some special work for the community to build up a strong community. And this is the thing we try to promote the big lunch. This is the main thing, like, why? Because in month of Ramadan, what we try to spread the message, share your iftar, share your food, and obviously, everyone will like the food. MashaAllah. So, yeah. so you, you give me something in my head. So when we say iftar, something comes in my head. So this is the group, actually, MashaAllah. You have achieved amazing stuff. I've seen your videos. I've seen your um, 
pictures actually you have done a iftar with non-muslim your neighbors and your friends and it was amazing please tell me your thoughts behind uh, basically bcp hasn't been running for too long we've only been um, running for three years. two years just uh, coming up to three years so we're fairly young um, but in terms of the work that we do is we work not with young guys like but <laughs> 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 but in terms of um, the work that we do is basically uh, based around the uh, local area so um, in terms of like if that was the most recent um, uh, event that we do but things like Eid, um, working with homeless people all of these kind of community works that can be done that's um, the kind of work that we do so um, if we realize there's an issue that needs to be uh, tackled or things that we can maybe help as a community we we'll go out there and um, kind of basically try and uh, fulfill the needs of the community so that's what BCP is about but iftar uh, was basically something that um, took a lot of um, uh, a lot of meetings a lot of preparation to actually come to this point alhamdulillah we've had a lot of challenges um, but the overall success is basically in terms of how our, the community and how our non-muslims neighbors um, responded and uh, we've got a very good reception feedback by them and Mashallah, we'll ask you. Like by how did you get our young brothers involved? Did you have this idea in your head like I want to involve young people and I want to invite our neighbors at Asuna Kiafna? It a cup home oi oi Bibin Zagatu is Boro Zagatu is Afna. But I'm not to cup Bishop Hori Horado Haraki that the Amade Sundor Islam Tase, Otoba Sundor Jay Logibuna Siglamba, Tomot Horado Haraki Afna. So Afna Alhamdulillah, first of all, Afna young men three involved for a Tohiban. Alhamdulillah, praise to Allah Almighty. Um, I've been in the area for last uh, since 2004 and I always love to work with young young children and just the reason the Bangladesh program the Dorkhar Kitamra by Chentulogamra is Itakora Lagi because to raise my children in a better environment I have to see Tarar by Chen Tarar friend Bundu to become good so that it gives me a um, freedom that they are in a, with a good group so bala group lo ke tara taktuile amra ki ta korte by chintore tara friend bondhu look after kara lage so ita abar ekta inspire korche gear de tara friend bondhu loke why cannot ami gear friend bondhu itam pai na khane tara loke khane ami mishtam pai na so ami tara loke ekto khaladula ita ita ta gear involve hoye hoya spinoli ita by chane onek boroi gaso when for had was younger i remember running with them and people said they old men running with the younger one so how old were you then for her. Uh, about 16, 17, so 16, 15, 17. 15 years ago. So yeah, Alhamdulillah. So, about 12, 13 years. So, Alhamdulillah. They were quite you know, senior on that by 8 years to 10 years, 12 years, and I've taken to so many things. That wa that, that, that's so I feel privileged with Haram the Uncle Laikor. Although um, some senior member, friend, when they are around, said, no, you're young, so why they call, should call you brother. But because my children are there, so they call me their friends. So they call me Uncle Laik, so they can rely on me. Their parents can trust me, so I can take them out here and there. That basically gave me the courage to do anything. So every time in my area, when I, we want to do anything, I just, uh, uh, just uh, say to the local community, local mosque, or local um, Kingsley Hall, community not that that's basically I'm a trustee of Kingsley Hall so I have a lot of uh, you know um, English like Sharon is the chair so we have a lot of English people Mashallah. around with me so they all we all feel part of doing something to get and this board project the name itself was picked up by Ruhin Bai and Abdulaziz Bai and they were the first two people who had the telephone discussion we should do something and they got us involved and we've been running it so that way when we came and we want to do something for the Bo, pro uh, Bo community project everybody got together like Muslim non-Muslim old young black white everybody Mashallah. got together so it's about everyone's project it's not my only so we all loved it so people Faraz came to our project for Faraz about 10 miles away in, from Nunhead Lewisham people came to our project Mashallah. even we have some uh, you know celebrity friends as well they came and helped us on the so last day. Um, went to door to door 
Kila Khorsan. Did you go like the young people and old people together? What was the outreach style? Um, we we designed the whole thing so that everybody the message be heard. We made posters, we made leaflets, we went to the door to door. We uh, we had a media circle, WhatsApp group, and all that. And we had big, huge number of volunteer group. Everybody helped us out. Um, the one we did eat with the neighbors. We had Alhamdulillah, 1,400 to 1,500 samosas and pakoras, all been donated by local sisters. So great. that you know, we c kept the cost very minimum, uh, minimal cost, and we we had about seven, eight hundred people in the park. And from last year. All, everybody, when they see me, they say, when are you doing another event again? Mashallah. When is the next event? Even this Ramadan one, a lot of people said, is the Ramadan, when is the next Ramadan? The, um, uh, William from Kingsley Hall, he said, when is the next Ramadan? And Mashallah. they were laughing, Mashallah. they said, one year later. <laughs> Inshallah, I'll come to you. Would Inshallah. you be, like you working with a lot of young people, Zaman in here, actually, he is amazing. A lot of our community actually uh, don't know about him. But doing the marathon a few times, and he does amazing stuff if you go and the people he met actually. So I think you can use him in your projects to encourage other young people. And, and I, I love to, I love this I'm, project I'm because to um, I like to engage young people and the way I do it, I feel like my children are picking that up. Sure. My elder son, I'm proud of him, Alhamdulillah. He uh, works with the Scouts group and he works with the youth and all that. What's his name? Red one for it, Mia. You know him, yeah? And uh, Nahin, he's in university. He also goes to Scouts. And my younger one, Isa Mahdi Mia. And, they, and basically, I want them to f do things what I say, but now they don't do it. It seems like they don't do it, but I see they're doing the everything what I'm proud of. Mashallah. I'm so proud of yeah, my children, bless. and they're proud of me. My son said, that's the biggest star I had. I have a number one dad, because he plays with us. So Mashallah. I want all the parents, shokol ba fokol auka, ba chentulay khalauka. And they all khalata tarab monorak po, inshallah. So Jaman Bhai, I'll come to you now. Um, how was the response? Because you've been to a lot of um, hospitals, you went to a community of meeting all the people, you met people you haven't met before, you are the only uh, Muslim face up there promoting Islam, mashallah, and in the same time a lot of things happened. Remember the, the um, London Bridge and Manchester when you were walking around. Mm -hmm. So how, what was the response to people, what kind of people you asked you? First of all, I'm coming to one by one. I have done, alhamdulillah, but this is not only my achievement, actually. Um, I have uh, my partner, she, um, Courtney uh, Island. She was um, walking along with me all the way, actually. So we, ha we walk as a team, actually. So unfortunately, today she is not here. And every day, because it's quite uh, interesting things, it's not only walking. Every day we visit the community project, local uh, community garden, charity, uh, mosque, and we have seen what kind of work they're doing. And as a volunteer, I feel like most of we so far whole team we visited over 150 community project. Subhanallah. Can you, you know. pick few? Start yes. with one. So you this is the things. One project we visited, which is called the Lewis Foundation. They provide service, give time to the cancer patient. If I will never visit, I will never feel what kind of you know the pain and difficulties a cancer patient face uh -huh. mentally emotionally so they gave this time and as a human being you know we should support each other many pr and they're doing as a volunteer you know it's based in Northampton and uh, one project I visited uh, in Southend just a ride so is actually they have a cycle so all the local people and the parents they come along with their kids and they use the bike and quite Really, I really, I was really impressed by that because everyone get involved and active. Because because nowadays, especially when we live, live in London, we have nothing to do. Have you seen any Muslim volunteers? Uh, yes, in one project uh, I visited, where I have seen uh, the Muslim volunteers. Actually, this is for the for the sisters. So many Muslim sisters they come here and um, actually they learn lots of things like sewing the other things. But their main focus is to bring them in one platform to know each other because sometimes people are so busy they came from different background and they feel hesitate to meet with each other so this is the create a link between all the especially with the soldiers. Do you feel like we lack of Muslim volunteers? Yes of course. In those um, projects? Yes of course uh, we have to be we have to if you go back to our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he done lots of volunteer works 
if you if you research uh, his uh, lifestyle he done lots of volunteer works and alhamdulillah i'm trying my best to give my free time and not only that because i realize many people today i'm here because of some people and i always remember them really grateful to them they don't need anything else back from me but i realize i should give something to those people who need so when i go to them i inspire them and i share my experience and not only that i have learned lots of things every day i'm learning and about this um we had a, during our work lots of things happen actually but alhamdulillah people are so positive uh, we've been the uh, in the some uh, few uh, the multi faith iftar we've been in the uh, south of cathedral for this um, the iftar and uh, we met with all the people from the different background police and the army and the church and when we go there we feel like we are in one community and this is the things while we living in the multicultural country we have to stay as a one community we have to stand shoulder to shoulder it doesn't matter what color because uh, as a muslim or as a christian we can't stay in our house and this is the things we try to promote um, this the big lunch which is like we try to share the food and everything come to the lunch after the baking so we're going to smell fresh someone in dubai when i'm going to take this in a mother okay i'm on road could say please share your achievement of ramadan and share your thoughts and views inshallah so when you rush on a regular inspiration so we're going to go for a small break and see you after the break wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh আসসালামু আলাইকুম রহমাতুল্লাহ সুমন্ত ভাই বোনের আপনার সবাইকে স্বাগত জানাচ্ছি আবার ওই ইউটিউবারের পক্ষ থেকে আলহামদুলিল্লাহ ইউ ওয়াচিং ইউটিউবার আপনারা আমাদের সাথে ফোন করে আলাপ করতে পারেন ইনশাআল্লাহ সো আই এম গোইং টু গো স্ট্রেট ব্যাক টু জামান ভাই জামান ভাই ইউ সেড ইউ মেড লটস অফ পিপল অ্যাকচুয়ালি দে মেড লট অফ গুড রেসপন্স টু ইউ তো আমাদের কেউ যদি বলেন আপনি ওয়াট কাইন্ড অফ কোশ্চেন দে আস্ক ইউ ফার্স্ট অফ অল দে সারপ্রাইজ হাউ আই এম ওয়াকিং ইন মান্থ অফ রমাদান ওয়াইল আই এম ফাস্টিং সুবহানাল্লাহ অ্যামেজিং দাওয়া ইউ নো আই সেড দিস ইজ মাই ফেথ দিস ইজ মাই বিলিভ এন্ড this is my duty like 9 to 5 i have to do and it doesn't mean like i'm fasting i have to leave everything and this is the an example yes we are i'm fasting but same time i'm doing working for this uh for my community because the fasting has a purpose and alhamdulillah the month of ramadan we get lots of reward and i would say like i was thinking this is a big opportunity to get some afaka the boy like saying they are the rozaki otohana me artam parmune so so mai আপনার জেনুইনলি এজ এ পারসন আসলে আমার লাগছে না আসলে আপনি হয়তো জানেন আমি আগেও কিছু আমি আই ডু লটস অফ রান আমি ডিড আই ডিড ফি হাফ ম্যারাথন ওয়াইল আই ওয়াজ ফাস্টিং সো আই ওয়াজ রিয়েলি কনফিডেন্ট আমি খুব কনফিডেন্ট আছি আমার আমার আল্লাহর ফেয়ার ফেয়ার আছে ইয়েস আই ক্যান বিকজ আমি একটা বালা হামুলিয়া ইনচিনি আপনি মনে করেন না আপনার পার্সোনাল কোশ্চেন রাইট আরে মনে করেন আপনি এগুলা কন্টিনিউ করতে পারবেন আর পরে ইনশাআল্লাহ আই গট দিস কোশ্চেন মেনি টাইমস ইউ নো and inshallah i think i will go with her oh that's good oh, oh, that you got the plan ready mashallah <laughs> i have plan ready mashallah so let me go back to uh, the teacher inshallah first by your english teacher mashallah yeah. you are you're meeting a lot of young people every yeah. day um a lot of our young people actually are we have an identity crisis that yeah. uh, as a whole yeah most of the raza raza ida to shomka to beshi na actually yeah majority bara afna youth club khomi gese afna lot of young people are into afna um drugs selling drugs knife crime is going to high gun crime is going to high afna kase kita kita lage je amra we should be worried about as a teacher um, i was actually a youth worker prior to being a english teacher so i've uh, worked in the youth sector as well as the teaching sector so um, the thing is a lot of the times um, young people is just finding a place a time um an area where they can feel safe that they can be quite open the problem is sometimes um issues that maybe we're facing as teenagers we don't feel that we can talk to our parents because we think our parents are from a different generation different background and things like that so the thing is who do we go to and that's why it's important like people like like uh, sasa and myself we're very young people who are aware of the issues that are uh, in society the problems that are that happened within uh, you know different parts of the country but when you were young did yeah. you feel like you can't talk to your parents did you feel like that uh, to be honest i, I would have why? been why what would you say why what, i think it's a there's a cultural clash in terms okay. of our parents they were brought up in uh, bangladesh and um, you know their experiences are very different from ours uh, but my father he would tell me a lot of the, the the issues that he went through as a young person 
but sometimes with the issues that a, a young Muslim living in Britain, um, some of the issues that we go through, we don't feel that our parents maybe won't understand or maybe they won't know how to go about in terms of helping us with these issues. So I think um, the real main thing is that uh, people who've been living in this country for the last you know, 20, 30 years, um, who understand the issues and uh, the, the issues that young people face, it's very important to get them to engage with the young people. So even with likes of us, I'm pretty sure that even uh, 20 years ago, what was happening in, in, in the areas that we live in, he's well aware because he's you know, quite active in the community a young person will be very confident to go and speak mm. to him rather than their own parents. So I think it's about people showing that they're aware of the issues that young people face and actually people feeling open to go and actually approach them and speak to them. I'm going to now because I also do fundraising as well. So lots of men share that I have to say that I have some of them are daily tarafani Allah rasta fasha din khud dua khur balagi. Ita do bkhane amra bachchandra usda prakash khutam paina amra thamda no to balafai ram. Ita amra khudam fai na. Amra nizar bachchandra amra khutam paina thamda balafai. Tim balakham khurra thank you. Tim ota khurra amala gusolo. Amni why? I mean I find it really difficult khane amra khutam paina. Like by the last like by what why? Why is that question? Alhamdulillah because it's a generation gap, right? and Bengali to e English. Uh, children speak English, we are mentally Bengali. So I don't know what it is. It is Bengali to the college. But in English, if we say, darling, come to me, they don't understand. But in Bengali, I love you, my child. I love you, my child. Because every parent, their love for their children is in their heart. They love their children, but the ekta khota sir ne amar shuna food, amar lucky food, amar idron khota gula express kora dena. But that's the only thing you can say. Acha zara express khora de okay, but not many people do that as well. Khoi be kitha khoros? Urzud ne. Ouse ne jinis shob dugula amra use khori gula kub dangerous bichun ne. Khon tar school za je shundu shundu math phone ra phnar. Teacher ya mathe they professionals they speaking. Gurai allo khali khali dumok diye khota gula khowa. But she doesn't have any But if I do, why do you hate me? I saw the hate of Kunukarban actually. My after the coconut crop shumbo. I don't know about food, my other food, dollar food, I've never heard. But can you do this when they are 13 and 14? Well, difficulty, I mean, fine, because I'm a wife always. I'm a food quite a obeta, you know, and I always say obeta, that one obeta, nah, and obeta isa. And that, like, I'm telling you, obeta money. Uh, he's just telling me old man or something. This is what they feel. <laughs> <laughs> but Betaman is my son, my beloved son. Yeah. Isn't it? That basically. Well, so communication is so a issue with that. With that okay. Generation gap, communication gap, at a bridge. And so because Alhamdulillah, I'm here to Banglish. Bangla Matwari, English Matwari. So my children know me well. The dad's up to something. <laughs> but that is Bangla Matwari, English Matwari. That are totally Bangla. So Bangla is not a good thing. So how can you talk? But then to dilor kota matpai kela. But then to dil di buzbo kela afna feeling cha. Because afna khanda for hada khoy sunjakta afna je. Af time easy afna lagye khoy ti easy for film. One khay feel khore afna khay matte ya ki ma hours tagye. I i kun jinishe mani i gunta kita. What is it within you? There is a hadith or there is no there is Umar Umar ibn Khadr radiyallahu anhu once said that he goes home and he plays with his children. And I'm not going into the full details of this. He plays with the children. And then another Amir came from another city and he came and saw that and said, Amir, Sheikh, you are doing that, Amir? He said, Why not? You know, I love my children, I play with them. He said, When I go home, I'm just like a martial law and my children are like a leaf, they stand like that. And that's not supposed to be. I, if I'm not friend with my young ones, my children, then who will they make friend? And my message, my children is my future. I'm earning a lot of money for them. And who am I giving it to? Who am I working hardest for? If my children don't understand. So I need to give them the love, them care, them and to play with them. And only why children understand the language. Every house I go, I don't uh, try to take suits. I try to take, a, you know, some, some uh, 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 gift like uh, toys and all that. And they, they, they don't um, that much, they one pound toy. People spend 15, 20, 30 pounds taking uh, jilabi, mishti and all that, cakes, all junk food, sugars and all that. But I think taking little toy for them. Once a man said, one pound is a million pound for me. 
because someone gifted to me. But if you give a million pounds to a child and a little yeah. toy, which one would he prefer? The toy, of course. <laughs> the toy. He doesn't know the other. other. He, he doesn't know. He, doesn't he know loves the, the toy. So you have to be prowling. You have to be their horse. To get them in your back. That's my fitted club. All my children. Yeah. For other, before I go to Zamanbai, what are the issues do you find in your teaching area with the young people? Mm. What do you think their lack of confidence in? Uh, well, I think also one of the issues is being a young Muslim in this day and age, sometimes they feel that the opportunity isn't there for them. So they sometimes believe that, okay, you know, I'm a Muslim, I'm in a certain um, area, certain background. With all of the negative stereotypes towards Muslim, they feel their chances are limited. But the thing is, I've heard this for the last 10, 15 years, but I've said to them, look, look at the people around you. There's been so many Muslims around you um, who've been able to achieve in the last 15, 20 years. They never used their religion, their faith, anything like that. The thing is they were determined to make progress. They're determined to um, you know, break these stereotypes. And Alhamdulillah, they achieved. So even like um, I remember not too long ago when um, Amir Khan, um, Pakistani, Muslim, um, silver medalist uh, sure. for Great Britain. So someone like him, you know, if, if you wanted to see someone who's young and, you know, that you can relate to, look at someone like him. But there's been so many people, even in history, even like the greatest books in, the, um, in history would be Muhammad Ali. He's never used his faith ever as a reason why he wasn't able to progress. Mm. So I said, look into, you know, people uh, in this modern day and age. Sadiq Khan, Ameya, for example, even from a Muslim background, you can achieve. So sometimes it's us, um, our mindset, our mindset is sometimes quite rigid. So I think one of the things is the confidence is that we sometimes don't feel confident in ourselves. In our, uh, we, we put um, all these times different um, obstacles in front of us. Sometimes these obstacles will be there, but you know, there's nothing that should stop you from achieving. Um, if you put your mind, in, uh, mind towards something, you'll be able to achieve it. And that's the message I've given to my students. And Alhamdulillah, you know, nowadays you see students, um, Muslim background, um, within our community, going to uh, Oxford, Cambridge, Mashallah. further abroad, Harvard, um, Yale, different universities, which are the best universities in, the, in this country and abroad. So I'm thinking a lot of the times is, it's our mindset. We need to get away from this mentality where we won't be able to achieve because of our status, our background, or you know the kind of stereotypes that people put up, uh, put about us. So I think it's all to do with mindset, to be honest. Mashallah, that's good. I'm going to come to you regarding the the mosque role in the young people's life. Inshallah, I'm going to go to Zaman by Zaman by. Did you find when you were young, still you're a young person, of course, did you find it difficult for communication with parents? Because I'm not the Bala was definitely there. I'm not often and blindly Bala for number days. So I do the labor like this is group. They sell themselves for us. We know for sure. Can they Bala was at a Pukash for number but gentle the self now. Difficult to need a buzzard or communication. Um, it's a good topic, actually, and uh, obviously, s still I'm single, but I have a lot of opportunity to work with uh, young boys, old boys, and the old boys, I would say, you know. The, so <laughs> from the single for long, <laughs> they're running you and doing <laughs> So from them, I have learned a lot. So what you said, Afna Jafta Khuisan, it will be a communication gap. And that's why, because during my walk, I have visited many places. And Alhamdulillah, many organizations, they're giving support to this, the lonely people and the old people. And Alhamdulillah, this is a big problem in our communities. Really? Yeah. So it's... So, project I met with one lady um, who was 94. Still, she works for her local community. She still drives and she's so active, Alhamdulillah. You know. What kind of word did you use? You feel they are the confidence that Amal Laktunai Hu, Gusha, or did you think that they are, you know, Gusha for the Bodwadi Refruit, or the Fruta Kitalai Borogon? They never did. Tarashu Ilan Kunta Hursuna, but they try to forget, they try to spend their new friends. Taraja Harane Kumuja Promono Bino Project twice on the Taram. We've been a friend of Logan Milcho in Tara, Tara Logoshoma at the same time when they have seen me, they're really impressed sure. as a young man how I am here. Then I'm here, my experience for here as a Muslim. I'm not a mother for him, I'm not a big person, I'm not a person, I'm not a look after for them. So that's why we'll under education like one, the right time, a right education.
This is the most important thing. Like by Jakhta Khurra. As a parents, you have to be a friend, not be a dictator. You know, if true. anything happen, they will come to you first, not to you or not to me. So Amra the environment create khurta bivar. As a Muslim, Amra ita to Amra Amra dino visallahi salamu lifestyle dikhi jodi Amra thain kila am bolu hussein. No wish. It's very simple. Life is very simple, and I tr I'm a simple man, and I try to follow the simple way. I don't want to make my life too complicated. Okay. But after the working of journey, the great work, after namaz for the khushto isil. Kila khushto nashol because after shop to our money, tada wo jinodur moti kese. After shob namaz khushto, rastat khushto, ne kila khushto. Yes, only I was the Muslim. Yeah, only I was the Muslim actually, and Alhamdulillah, it was really great experience. I mean, the, when I walk in the countryside, park on a match for sea, of not till last, on a match for sea, I was just showing you so I and I never face any problem. Alhamdulillah, you know. Sometimes I prayed in a church, you know, and uh, this is the things because namazil ita ma fortu ibu. Mashallah. You know, ita lagi je on jeno are they always support me. Mm. Mashallah, this is called working dawa. Mashallah, amazing. Amazing. Working dawa. amazing. Working dawa. Working dawa. <laughs> this is my duty actually. It's our duty, not my duty, and we have to spread them. Amra dawat kilan fosaitam. Amra war kum adam. Mukor madam. I'm to one kisu matam farmo. Min to afne dekhta sahi ba jam dekhta mati si ek time khutan holiya. Maybe I'm not so to come for it, but it's a continuous for our seat. Or to it doesn't matter. It's a kita which no one comes from Jan Masham Rujarasi, Tama Diti Rahtibo. Alhamdulillah, Allah my tofik this on both Manshu Tofik Rujarata for Sina. So same time, I mean, as Chesta Hursi Rujan Shabalaham for a laggy. I'm Allah Hulhurta. In China, I'm not a horror show of the Hamala Hulhurta Jeshmo, no Muslim community Gesiami as a Muslim Mishabe Tarajan to say Siaman. They're surprised. You don't drink? I said, no. <laughs> you know, nothing, I don't touch. This is how you have done. You know, so this is a, a great surprise to them, actually. You know, and not only that, on the way where we've been many places and we covered by all the national and local media, we've been in BBC One Show and all this, uh, the uh, mainstream media, and they wanted to know how I cope, how I fast, and how I manage my everything. And I try to maintain my times and my food and everything, you know. Inshallah, that's beautiful. We're going to go for a small break again, inshallah. Shamanda Bhai, when you're at Mara Dera and I'm sure you're enjoying, you can call us as well. Please share your achievement. And what do you think we should do for next year? Is well, give us some plans, inshallah. People are watching from around the world. Tadai gula dekia, if now the plan kuchu bala den, one ekh khurba for inshallah. Allah, what do you think about our show? I want you to call us and tell us, inshallah. So we go for a small break, and I'll see you after the break, inshallah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Shamanta bai bunara, you are watching you tower. Aske amra ala porte si afna the achievement in Ramadan. So one ekhon ek shundu shundu project kula hoye se. Ekro ni amra ala palochana korte si. To afna ro amader shadish shori khoyte pare. Inshallah, please do call in studio line. Afna der. Share your experience and your achievement, inshallah. So, I'm going to tell you, um, like, by again, the mosque is a mosque, the youngster is a mosque, the child is a mosque, over 13 to 19, I'm talking about. So, what is the key to this? Do you think we should improve, or do you think we know even doing uh, enough or care about like a lot of improvement needed in the mosque section with the youth and youngsters? Uh, first of all, a lot of Imams, Alhamdulillah, they are good reciters, they are good Tajbir, they are good Walda, but most of the schools, they have teachers training, which we don't have the teachers training mm, for the mosque, training. right? Yes. There's a, there is a teachers associ association, but most of the teachers are less paid, right? So underpaid and all that. So th that is another reason they don't have a spare time to go on the voluntary work. But our teachers need t uh, education, teachers education and need to know how to work with the children and one teacher has 25 30 children in a class and they've got limited time and there's ample things to teach them ample things to teach them so every mosque should have a systematically mock top and praise the children when they do it a lot of mosques they don't have that but the positive there are a lot of positive things as well after a long day of school they are tired they come to the fora and that's not their language so we need to be kind to them as well. 
So we give, have to give them a little break so that they understand. So we have to be like the father should be friend to his son, mother should be friend to his child, like teacher has to be friend with the child. So they have to have a little break. It's not like uh, I'm there in Bangladesh and I'm with the stick, I'm here uh, teacher, Nani, you have to be. No, teacher has to ease. Like Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he used to play with the children. So if our Imams, and not all of them, some of Imams are really brilliant, Alhamdulillah, but if some of our Imams or the teachers of the Maktab, they become Man, like Allah. Uh, Frank Takhar Dorkhar, and I have a plate, and I'm thinking to take every time, take them out of the Maktab. Hello, Kola, Assalamu Alaikum. Kola, Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Bye, Bala Sunni. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Bala Sunni. MashaAllah. Afna kunja de khursan bai, afna naam ke takhi bari. Ami commercial isti takhi khursi. Afna naam rai khan. Ami like bai, like bai lagun. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Thank you. Go ahead, sir. Assalamu alaikum, Rayan bai, Bala Sunni. Alhamdulillah, like bai, Bala Sunni. Alhamdulillah. Bala Alhamdulillah. Afna dekhe ko Bala lagis. Alhamdulillah. आर आपने जो इस तरफ आते कोर्स लाभ ना निवार वाला लगे ऐसा ले आमर दावत आते लगे तो हमारे ना बट आमी पिक्चर वही सी वेरी नाइस ही से आपने रिकूब मिस कर सी जी आर ओखा ना हम लोग कोई चम्पे इलाम जब आपने जैसा यो तो लोग वैसे होता है अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह अल्लाह आपने रे कमियां पूरक आर इन प्रशंसा शुभे बाइन दोखले अमर इंकरेज कर रहा एवं अमर युद्ध अंकुल नेफ्यू जो खोल वो जो तेरा सब समय अमर सपोर्ट कर रहा अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह वो जो ली आर फॉर हर एक्शन आर तो आमियो तो मैं सुन गई राम जो जो कोई से जो पाये अपना जो बात ही जहाँ दात बहुत जो बच्चे जो करो मात्र ना किंतु इन्हों आइले अपना लगे दे उसे फुटबॉल खेलता हम भाई योग करता अपने रे कूबी पला पाया तरा वो खानवार की यो जब गुरु एक नियो करे ना अपने कितने यार चले अपने लोग के माते अंकुल सब भाई ओके तो नाइस तो जाक मुल्ला खैर भैया दुन्नो बाद तो फिर देखो इंशाल्लाह थैंक यू भैया दुन्नो बाद फनोला की जाक मुल्ल it is a natural genius. They will talk about it and they make dua for you and when you go on away. That's, that's, the, that's the beauty of it. Which Alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. Well back, I'm the child program. Uh, I think for that, after you, you, you all left, we did one in Kingsley Hall. Um, uh, it was called Juma Day. The play was called Juma Day. And we, based on the hadith, when the Prophet said mm -hmm. the son of Adam dies, he leaves three things behind. Sadqah Zariya, Amul Salihin, and Aulad Salihin. So Alhamdulillah, it's in a term that they, they made a play that whatever you do, that sadaqah will continue going after you. The reward, you will continue to get that. Yes, and our other son, if you leave a pious child, that will. And Amul uh, the uh, charity that you leave, you build a school, college, university, even a road, or even, even a tree, and people, human benefit that. You get the reward for that. Yes, so Alhamdulillah, I'm so pleased that people likes the way I do, although I don't have much educational background, but I love working with the people. Alhamdulillah. With the children. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. Farhad, if I come to you. Afnut, mashallah. Okay, we have a call. Hello, caller. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Sorry, but I kept you waiting, mashallah. What's your name? Where are you calling from first? Um, I'm not Muhammad Abzal, I'm calling from Sheffield, brother. Mashallah. Jazakumullah khair, bhaiya. Yes, go ahead, sir. 
Uh, well, first of all, alhamdulillah, you're doing, uh, all of you are doing a great job. Uh, I've got one of my brother-in-law up there, sitting down, I can see him. So i just like to say thank you to him for his all uh, good work. Masha'Allah. Uh, bless Masha every one of you. What's your and, uh, 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 achievement this Ramadan, Baya? Would you like to share it with well, us? Uh, my achievement is, brother, uh, first of all, alhamdulillah, small alhamdulillah, man. I've got family, uh, I'm a father of four kids, and uh, I tried my best uh, to fast with my family together. Masha'Allah. Uh, we relate to everyone and encourage my youngsters and other children around us, you know, and they're the most important people for us uh, uh, next generation. Of course. So the best, uh, you know, so this is a good thing you can live for them, uh, you know. Okay, but do you think, Baya, we should do a lot more with our neighbors, and especially in Eid time, we give them gift? Well, absolutely, because but this is something that it does come in Islam, in our faith, isn't it, about neighbors? Our Prophet said about our neighbors, you know, look after our neighbors, be, you know, come to neighbors. So if there's Muslim or even non-Muslim, at least they should know about Ramadan, about Eid, you know, how we fast, how we uh, pray, how we, uh, um, you know, celebrate our Eid. Because most of the people, they have an idea, they just know there's Islam. But uh, people who have uh, more knowledge about Islam, I think they, sh they should, uh, you know, share more views on the Eid, about Eid, about Ramadan. And I think that, you know, that'd be very great. Do you want to ask Zadak, my colleague, to call? Yes, yes. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Eid Mubarak to you and all your friends and your family in Sheffield. And alhamdulillah, keep, keep on working with your neighbors, Muslim, non-Muslim, everyone. And no. keep on uh, supporting us uh, when you know when you come to London, uh, you, uh, you know come and support us and try to bring your neighbors uh, to uh, these gatherings of uh, you know Eid and Iftar gatherings. And you're doing good work, Alhamdulillah. Inshallah, Inshallah. Thank you, Bayaz. Yeah, I'd like to say to you as well. I mean, uh, may Allah bless you for your uh, good work and uh, Amin, uh, Allahumma, 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 next to you. Uh, mm -hmm give you reward for your all, all excellent work and uh, take care of yourself. MashaAllah, Baya, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Keep the phone coming in as well, share your ideas. I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that. So, I've not difficulties with your home environment in communication. But I wish you could talk to you that you used to something. I've not got too much for any of them. Now, Alhamdulillah, with me, I'm, I'm, I was very fortunate in terms of both my parents. And in terms of my aspirations to become, you know, um, a, if I wanted to become a teacher, if I wanted to become, you know, a technician, if I wanted to do, do any type of job, they always, always encourage me. So, my mom and dad, uh, one thing is that. Um, with my parents, they've never objected to me. They speak English? I mean, you know, no, no, they don't speak English, alhamdulillah. They're from Bangladesh. Okay. Um, but the thing is, they never objected to whatever I want to study. So um, I ended up with a degree in English and theology, which is religious studies. Now, to get a Muslim um, from the Bangladesh community studying English and religious studies, it's not very common. But alhamdulillah, with my parents, they always encourage me. And that's, that's, there's a few things uh, from my parents, as well as my wife and so forth that I've learned. Uh, with my father, one thing I always learned from him is that with your dealings always be just if anyone ever is in need of um, you know uh, financial support um, any type of assistance you must go and fulfill that need and the thing is even with the neighbors one of the things that the prophet you know one of the things that we have to do is if our neighbors need our assistance be it you know in terms of they live next door they don't have food you need to make sure that you basically fulfill their needs be it financial things like that so my father in terms of one thing i learned from him is that always keep to your promise um, Make sure that you fulfill your, basically your neighbors and people around you, can your family. Can you say Ibn so he can understand you? <laughs> oh, you feel you say? Uh, so that's my, he'll be good, because uh, he, he, he did make it. Yeah. Uh, nah, so Alhamdulillah, um, you know. After we left, I'm back to take the hicks. Yeah, so I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, dealings and shop, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, with my mom as well. Another thing that I learned from my mom is that, Every single person that she communicated with, they would always tell me, your mom always asks me about your uh, thing, always asks about my children, always asks about how we're doing. So even, Masha. you know, my mom, alhamdulillah, she would be going around the community asking people how they're doing. So alhamdulillah, I'm going to So Pick up one thing from your mom and yeah. dad. One thing that reminds you, um, if they're not even around, what would, yeah. you, what would come to your mind? 
No, and I, with my mom, the one thing I must admit is that I could actually go to my mom and I could speak to her. Subhanallah. My mom never kind of, you know, with my mom, if, if you know, if every time I call her, I'd ask her, how are you doing? Um, how's everything going? She'd always ask me about myself, my children and things like that. Um, and the thing is, you know, with my mom, I've never had a situation where I never felt that, you know, that I couldn't speak to her about anything. So whatever it may be, I always felt that I could be quite open with my mom and I could speak to her. And that's why I'm saying the Prophet, you know, Sorry. he said, you know, who do you give your love, your respect, your honor to? Um, the Prophet said, your mother, then they asked, who after that? Your mother, who after that? Your mother, who after that? Your father. So in terms of the mother, the importance of the mother uh, is very important. And I think um, with a lot of young people, one thing I would advise you to do is, if you have one or both parents, make sure that you have that relationship with them. Because one day, if they're gone, you will really, really regret that. Why didn't I speak to my mother? Why didn't I speak to my parents? I mean, one last thing I'd, I'd like to say as well is another person who's been really, really uh, good for me is uh, with my wife, alhamdulillah. In terms of um, some Masha of the things Allah. that I've picked up. I am so pleased up. that you picked that yeah. up. Uh, MashaAllah, may yeah. Allah bless you, my brother. Uh, obviously, in terms of my best friend, but one thing that I must admit is that um, in terms of being a mother, in terms of some of the... best friend? Hey, my best friend, obviously, my soulmate. Um, there's, there's things that I even picked up from her that maybe I didn't used to do um, before I was married. So with her, she's been, you know, we've got two beautiful daughters. And uh, the thing is, with my parents, Alhamdulillah, they did a lot of good for her. But with my wife, I can see that with my daughters, when they grow up, in her hands, they'll be safe. And they'll be, you know, in terms of Islamic principles, everything like that, she will be able to do that for my children. And that's something that, you know, with my wife, Alhamdulillah, I love her for that, that she's built up a great household and stuff like that. So the first, one thing we have to realize is that the first place in terms of the education for children is in the home. So in terms of we talk about the masjid and things that we could do, but the first place that your children would be learning from is from your wife, from, from the mother basically. So in terms of looking after our mothers, in terms of you know, going to the masjid and having a space for them to learn, to educate, is very important. But as also in the home, we need to make sure that we ensure that our wives, our mothers, we get them to be the first teacher for our children because that's the first teacher for any child, the mother. So, um, like I said, with my wife, Alhamdulillah, Mashallah. amazing uh, role model even for myself, um, being a husband and for our children, I'm pretty sure she'll be an excellent role model throughout the whole life. May Allah, but, yeah, bless, you. May Allah bless you, um, my brother. Okay. You know, the reason is we forget to mention our wives most of the time. Mm. They're also mothers of our children, subhanAllah. Yeah. It's very difficult. We always. Uh, be judgmental sometimes. So may Allah bless you. I'm yeah. glad you mentioned that. Yeah. And um, of course, your kids are watching. If I could come to Jaman Bay, yeah. Jaman Bay, we know like I've been to other shows as well, in the show, and I do get calls from parents saying, "Amar fuare ami hafiz banai si, kintu o fu Allah gidura ya ami datne go mai lagya apna thala mai diyadu mo kun sumai mai liu mai wale." Inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi raji. Ita wara fna bichino. You gula kubeshi wara madesh madesh gula. We have to admit. You gula problem gula or we have to admit. Knife crime, we have a lot of people who are involved in this kind of stuff. We have a lot of people who are involved in this kind of stuff. We have a lot of people who are involved in this kind of To become an example to others, what do we need to do? Allah yata khuitam say, afnara khuisun. In my life, amar role model illa amar dada. We are like as a, you know, the amar friend Allah na salam bichin. And alhamdulillah, amar dada has taki ami je jinish gula hexi. Very simple thing. Is he still alive? You know, simple life. Is he still around? No, alhamdulillah he passed away. May Allah give him jannah. And alhamdulillah. He proud feel like how to treat your wife, how to treat your parents, how to treat your neighbors, how to treat other people, the poor people from one man. She is a big role model in my life. I have a lot of people who are living in my life. I have a lot of people who are living in my life. I have a lot of 
ওই যে হইল যে তার কাছ থেকে যে আমরা শিখছি এখানে আমরা আর যে তার লগে যে আমি না মিশতাম না ইয়ে করতাম আমি কিলান শিখলাম নেই বুঝছো নিস অক্ট যে আপনি যেটা কইলা আমরা উই হ্যাভ টু বি এঙ্গেজ আমরা মাত্র হইব এখন আমরা লাইফ যেখানেও যে কারণ সব জায়গাত লাইফ বিজি বুঝছি না আমরা পয়সা কিতা পয়সা কেউ লিয়ে এইতা না বুঝছো নি কেউ কুন্তা লগে লিয়ে এইতা না বালা আমুল লিয়ে যাই বা আপনি আলহামদুলিল্লাহ আপনি আপনার পরে হাফিজ বানাইছো ও ফুয়া আপনার লাগে দোয়া করবো বুঝছো নি আর মানুষে তার লাগে দোয়া করবো ও যে বালা জিনিসগুলো এটা আমরা ওই লোক কমিউনিকেট করতাম ও যে আমার লাইক বাই হয়েছে আমরা বি এ ফ্রেন্ড ট্রাই টু টিচ রাইট থিং অন দ্য রাইট টাইম বুঝছো নি আমার যে সময় আমার মা আমার আমার মা আফরে তান তার মা আফরে ফুল কনফিডেন্স আছে যে আমি বাদ কোনটা যাইতাম না বিকজ দে নো মি ভেরি ওয়েল দি ওয়ে দে ব্রট মি আপ বুঝছে নি তো অক্ট হইল এখন আমার আফুরি কনফিডেন্স নাই যে সময় আমার আপনার ফুয়া বিশ বছর বয়স হয়ে গেল আপনার ফুড়ি বিশ বছর বয়স হয়ে গেল ওই সময় আপনি এখান ইতলা গলা কিলার নামাজ পড়তো কিলা নিয়ে করতো বুঝছে নি আমি দেখে আপনি যে একটা কইলা আই ফিল রিয়েলি স্যাড আমরা বাঙালি আপনি যে একটু আউটসাইডে যাই আপনার বাঙালি পয়েন্ট ফুড়িন যদি দেখুন যে তাও আই ফিল রিয়েলি সেম যে তা গোটের আর এখন যে আপনি কইরো যে আপনি টাওয়ার আমরা চিনো তো বারা খান থেকে তো ইয়াকে ওই এটা করে না আমরা মানুষ করে খেয়ে করে এটা এ কারণ হইল যে নো রেসপেক্ট নো মেনা এ কারণ হইলো আমরা শিখাইছি না আমরা বাচ্চিন ধরে রাইট টাইমে শিখাইতে হইব বি এ ফ্রেন্ড নট টু বি এ ডিকটেটর বুঝছেন আর হইলো যে ইট ডাজন মেটা এনি রিলিজন আপনার সব রিলিজন যাকে সব রিলিজনের বালা জিনিস কর বুঝছেন ট্রাই টু শেয়ার ইচ আদার ট্রাই টু বি ফ্রেন্ড ইচ আদার as a muslim like where i was in this uh, the big walk we try to build up the link with the between the neighbors alhamdulillah amra onekh event korsi and this is the try to spread this message who is the best muslim who is the best who is the best who is the best to his neighbors it doesn't matter his muslim or christian so we have to be best to our neighbors how we could be best to our neighbors go and meet with them talk with them you know share with them and the another things that is what i follow as a he is the best muslim the another example who likes for himself what he likes for his brothers amra ekhon emota society te amra aisi ami sai kholta bala bujchen ni apnare amra gane we became so selfish bujchen o jinish gulat theki amrar baroi ai thibo aro je amar bai je ekta koila ami sob apnara koitam sai as a single man bujchen ni apnara apnarar je really grateful to you really please the way you remember your wife আমরা মাও আর যেন আমরা বাফুর ওয়াইফ আপনার শাশি আমার শাশি আমার শাশার ওয়াইফ আমার দাদি আমার দাদার ওয়াইফ বুঝছেন আমি আর যেন ওয়াইফ আমার মা তাঙ্গ করতে কে আইসি ইনশাল্লাহ আমরা আমরা ওয়াইফের রেসপেক্ট করতাম ওই বা ফ্যামিলির লাইফ হইলে এমন একটা জিনিস আমরা উই হ্যাভ টু শেয়ার ইচ আদার আর দেশ ওয়াইস এ শেয়ারিং অ্যান্ড কেয়ারিং একলা আমার থেকে কিন্তু হইতো না একলা আমার ওয়াইফের থেকে কিন্তু হইতো না আমরা মিলেমিশে থাকতাম ওইব দিস ইজ দ্য মোস্ট ইম্পর্টেন্ট থিং Inshallah. Yeah, we're just going to go for a small break, inshallah. I'll see you after the break. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum wa salam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. We were talking about achievement in Ramadan, inshallah. So we're going to go back to straight to our brothers, especially Ramadan. For that, the Eid Khusn was a mix. It, mashallah. I want to know how it is. Farhad, if I start with you, sir. After that, Ramadan, after that, iftar, mashallah, fantastic. With a lot of neighbors came into it. Yeah. Good achievement. I'm going to start with increase for Adrukhan. Tell me about the Eid you has done. Yeah, how was it? And how was it? Why was it mix one as well? Yeah. Alhamdulillah, we've had um, already two Eid events already um, in the last two years, and um, inshallah, Eid al-Adha, which is going to be just after Hajj. Um, we've got another one planned but alhamdulillah one thing that is that's been very, very important is that eid is not just a celebration just for muslims that's our message eid is basically for the whole community so um we had publicity just the previous eid that just has gone uh, that had gone by um last uh, ramadan we had a eid in the park we had um you know non muslims and muslims coming together and enjoying eid and it was opportunity for Um, non-Muslims to learn about Ramadan, to learn about Eid, and to learn about basic beliefs of Muslims. So um, I think that, you know, sometimes we think, when do we have icebreakers? When do we, when can we engage non-Muslims in a wide scale? Um, and the best time is celebrations, because whenever you have a celebration, people love coming and enjoying themselves. But at the same time, it's about being, uh, you know, being uh, uh, trying to make it both enjoyable and educational. So um, we've got Eid al-Adha coming up, and inshallah, you know, we've even had them. Um, um bbc people from bbc and uh, we had also people from um, some of the uh, bangla channels as were well coming really? up Masha, asking about the events 
So um, we had a producer from, um, I think, CBB is coming, uh, okay. coming down. Um, obviously, like by his got, mashallah, very good contacts. Uh, they came down and they actually really enjoyed what we're doing. And um, yeah, he could maybe elaborate. Okay, so that. what kind of activity did you have in the Eid day? Like, when, uh, on that day, alhamdulillah, it was basically a whole idea was to get everyone together. Okay. How many young people in the ideas? Um, we did a young show, and I think uh, about 40% was young so children, and then we had about 15-20% uh, was uh, non-Muslim there, and then we had about 30% uh, sisters were there. Right, and rest of them like local people. So basically, um, about 700 people. So everybody, and if the so children funny. show what we did there, uh, that was amazing. And I had the help from the Carl. He is a producer. Um, no, he's a project manager, and he helped me with his personal uh, speaker system. And uh, he's what he's a producer as well on the time. And I had um, uh, Star Wars actor. His name was. Uh, Alan Flynn, he came here, and I had a friend, Luke, he was an actor as well, a drama, he does drama, they came he's with his family, sure, and right. my neighbors, Paul and Alex, they came here, and the, most of all, it was possible because of the sisters, they gave me, both area community sisters, they gave me 1,400 to 1,500, so Muslims and Pakuras, you know, <laughs> voluntarily, so the cost was very minimal, alhamdulillah, <laughs> and as I started talking, Raihan Wei and the Farah of the Sain, I can't say that, it's, I can't digest without going out from the program, Every successful uh, man is due to his wife, uh, the backing of his wife. Mashallah. So every success comes from uh, of a man because he's got the backing of his wife. And I'm successful because of my wife because she helps cooking a lot of food for the community and they love it. So that's the credit goes to her and all the children and people think that we are role model in the area because you know they think we parents are doing good we my, my wife is to do um you know work with the uh, girls classes uh, you know um uh, voluntary work in the uh, girls so she loves doing that as well and she likes loves cooking and my wife is i'm proud of her because she's mother of my children so as you said every mother my mother used to wake me up every morning and i remember her before that for the salah of better food my words. father <laughs> used to say Oh, better. Like me, no matter. Even when he was unconscious, he had inj injection. He was unconscious, and he said, "Oh, better. Like no matter, it's no matter." So that clicks my mind every time I wake up. Yeah. So we need to keep, give them presents, sweets, and everything, fun time, and give them them good nasiha. Oh. Right? So mother Eid, is the uh, first. Eid, Eid is a fun day, right? Eid so, is a fun day. And in the Eid, in, a, in the Eid, we are planning for the next Eid, and this time we said we're going to make more youth coming in towards yes. us. Right. In our community, in our volunteer group, we're going to work with a lot of youth kids. And I, I, I encourage them, look, I'm going to have an Eid party with you, especially with you, especially with you. Give me the list of your friends' name, and, you know, get them together so that we can have a positive. The reason behind that, if we engage them in a positive way, right, so they don't go into the negative part, and they don't go into buildings and house and, uh, you know, staircases, and they hang around, and there's a lot of catch lot of mm -hmm. other people can catch them. So we need to engage them in a good thing and having fun. So if we open our masjid for them to come and play football, have easy time, free time, then in, in, in a rainy day, they can get into the masjid, have a free time. Every Saturday should be open for the children, play time. After Salah, if they break the mosque, tomorrow they will build the mosque. Right? Yeah, so our children is our yeah, future. Likewise, because you're meeting a lot of young people actually. Do they react to you? Do you find people that are reacting to you? Like, did you find anyone like that? I don't, no, I don't think you would. I never <laughs> found anyone. They even say, Mom, I'm going with Uncle Lex. So they have excuse to come out. And they have excuse <laughs> to play. <laughs> so we're finding an easy way out. So I'm not sure if I'm a rasta bahori, that a very easy hekunda hoina, hula, marham Is that how it is? Young people are going into bed, the, the knife crime is going high, and this and that. I meet about the afnar, the Rana Mazira to Kate to Kate and Namaz for Namaz, whatever Namaz for it was, the Kiba Mosito was eighty percent out and out. So we're finding excuses to. Like you said, when I go to Yanta, I want to be his best friend. I'm his best friend with them. So, two things. How? First thing, 
how are you? I talk to them. I say hello. And then I set up a plan. They, let's do something together. Let's play. Let's do something. Let's go to a restaurant. Let's go to a park. Let's go to a, you know, let's plan something. You know, I, you know, going through outing, doing picnic together, doing other things. That basically, they motivate. Oh, here yeah, we can do it. Uncle likes and pay for it. And all the parents pay one pound, two pound. Oh, sure. If we gather all that, Alhamdulillah, we can cover the cost. I don't need p petrol for my car. I can take seven, eight people with me, you know, uh, seven people in my car, five people, six people and myself. So we can go out in a park, have a picnic. Oh, sure. Or if I have a local parents or other people supporting and their uncles or brothers or everybody, because I am friend with the uncle, I am friend with the brothers, I'm friend with the younger ones, I'm friend with the babies. <laughs> and Bangladesh is the first time I'm going to fresh up. <laughs> so because of that, I got their blessing. <laughs> and my children picked up that as well. I want to ask you something. In your Eid party and in your Iftar party, the Muslim, they made a lot of good comments. I saw the videos. So we could apply the videos. If you would like to use some of the comments, I'm going to say, you should Alhamdulillah, the Eid with the neighbors have um, been bombarded with why now we're doing it again. Um, there's a uh, Rosanna and Harman, they came to the party and they even sent me a card. Masha. And I had a, um, and that makes, uh, we did not do it for the fame, we did not do it to shame others, but we did it to get a thanks. Masha. But the thanks belong to you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this was given by Rosanna. Let me read. Thank you so much for inviting us to the Iftar gather, uh, celebration on Monday. We really enjoyed ourselves and we've been impressed with your uh, generosity. Thank you again, Rosanna and Harmon. That was sent to my name and BCP. So, you know, I was impressed. And I have a, a paper clip I can show. I'm not allowed to show that. I mean, the video clip? No, you won't show it. So, just, show just it. say so, the thing um, said. Myra, she's really impressed. Last year, um, she's one of our trustees in Kingsley Hall. And she said, like, the Eid gathering was excellent. So, are you doing it again? And on the meeting, said, look, I don't have energy to that. But if you, you know, help me, and if you say, yes, I've got the energy, I will do it. And as soon as I did, I asked for the King's Lewall, they booked it for me, and even, uh, you know, the, everyone helped me, and the, Natalie emailed everybody uh, on, to come, and that. Although we had a difficult time, was, it was Ramadan, it was last 10 days, so some of our brother had a pre-planned of uh, doing extra ibadah. So I had to encourage him, this is part of ibadah. Our Prophet <laughs> sallallahu alayhi wa used to go, at least to now alamin to the community. So, how do we do that? How do we show the act on that sunnah? So okay. that sunnah is being nice to the local people and inviting to our gathering to celebration. Look at it. We are fasting. It's a difficult time for us. It's a long day. And even, you know what? I dearly respect the neighbors and the non-Muslim. The food was there. The drink was there. For one hour, they kept fasting for I us. Know, man. They were looking at the food, but never, never tasted. And imagine you've got food in front of you and you're eating it. We cannot eat because Allah said so, but they cannot eat due to respect. They respected us, yeah. our religion, and they never wasted any food. They took it with them. Mashallah. So, you know, I, I really love their attitude. We need to learn from each other. Mashallah. I've learned the good thing. They never wasted the food. We learn each other. Good things. I was just going to say one important note, just to kind of just add to this. The few things that people might not know is that in terms of these projects that we run, we we don't get funding or anything like that we do get support from like um uh, the local community in terms of financially it's coming from our own pocket so in terms of everything that's provided the bouncy castle face painting things like that this is basically coming from our own pocket yeah. so it's very haka is obviously in support yeah. <laughs> okay. so in terms of support and stuff like that um a lot of it is just coming from ourselves so a lot of people if they think that okay you know how can we do something similar? Remember, a lot of the time is putting your own effort, your, you know, put, putting your hands in your pocket, and also asking your local community, be it the housing associations. Like I said, there's a lot of non-profit organizations who will be more than happy to support you. Like we, we were very fortunate that Poplar Haka, um, they were supporting us with that's some good. of the things that we did. Sure, but good. like I said, anyone is able to do it. Any community that you live in, you are able to do it. It just takes basically uh, a few hours of dedication, uh, preparation and just working with people in your community as well as the you know um, uh, the, the authorities seeking the permission for a place to do your Inshallah. Eid celebration but like I said um, everyone can do it any community can uh, achieve it I'll and come to you inshallah. we've got five minutes left inshallah. I'm inshallah. gonna go to Jamanbai before we finish it off Jamanbai, um, 
what do you think we could do next year, make it a better Ramadan and the Eid? What can we do different, innovative? What do you think? Because you've been to a lot of, lot of places. What did you pick up? Give us some ideas for next year, what we can do. Uh, first of all, I'm going to say a few Bengalis for our Bengalis. Yes, you got, you got a minute and a half. Minute and a half. So, I'm going to say that Bengali is a very good thing. I'm going to say that 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 मिलीमिशे जाओ का विभिन्न जगह तो जब हम जस्ट आखुई तम सहयर अपना रहे जे बी ए मुस्लिम ए रियल मुस्लिम बी ए प्रैक्टिसिंग मुस्लिम दिस इज़ द मेन इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग्स एंड द माय लास्ट मैसेजेस लाइक वाय आई वाज द ग्रेट बिग वॉक वी जस्ट प्रमोट द द बिग लंच व्हिच इज़ द द बिगेस्ट द प्रोजेक्ट यू � Finish on 18th of uh, June, and the we welcome by Mayor of London Sadiq Khan, and he was really inspired by us. If you go to his uh, Facebook page, you could see that. The main thing is is finished, but still the legacy is going on. Mm. If so just so I'm just requesting to everyone visit our website thebiglunch.com. You can carry on, invite your friends, invite your neighbors, be a friend, and share with them what you like and what you are doing, and involve them. Because the, how we are struggling, only thing we can come out if we can stand together. If we can stand together shoulder to shoulder, because there is no way. There is no way instead of that. And what you said as a Muslim, what we can do. I have been many places, and most people are good. But some people, maybe they're doing something else. So this is our responsibility, your responsibility, everyone's responsibility to come out and to say what we what we want and what we this are doing this is the thing this is my message and try to support each other try to love each other Mashallah. and share the peace and share the message of the peace and be humble as a human being this is the most important things Jazakumullah for your time today if i could ask for by just to yep. say in one minute see your last uh, message to our viewers yeah so like i said in terms of you know as muslims um, as individuals we have a responsibility to be uh, inspiring people within the community so everyone has the capability the capacity to do this don't ever belittle what you're able to do every single individual has something that Allah has given them that they're able to, to use so be it that you know you're creative be it that you know financially whatever you think that you have which is a gift that's been given to you by Allah make sure you use it because you'll be accountable for this so inshallah like I said um, everyone has the capacity to do good um, whatever you're good that, that, that you have within yourself, make sure you share it with others. That, that would be my message. Like, by, why is it so important to work with the young people? Why is it so important? Alhamdulillah. We all One believe. minute, your last word. Alhamdulillah. We all believe we do for our future, our children's future. So our children is our future. So if we see our children growing better, then that is our future. Because tomorrow I'll be old and they'll have a younger ones. So if they are good, if they work with the community and they make the community a better place, then our future, when we are old, our people will love us. So Alhamdulillah, what we learned from the Ramadan, may Allah keep us, uh, continue this until the next Ramadan, we stay alive, but most of all, with your neighbors, say hello to them. So I was bombarded with the knots of uh, you know, non-Muslim neighbors or English people, or others. even the Bengalis don't say hello. Don't let them say, Mr. Mia, Mr. Ali. So let them talk to you, be friend with them. And friendship is the first thing to give dawah. But mainly, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, so, Jadakallahu Khairan, Ikra TV, Ebon, Shobayi, I'm going to invite you to all of you. And, inshallah, future Aro event, I'm going to inshallah, I'm going to invite you. Jadakallahu Khairan. No, no, I feel very proud with it. Zaman Bhai here, Farad Bhai here, mashallah, and yourself. You have done an amazing job, mashallah. Achievement of this Ramadan is fantastic. Last few years, mashallah, Muslim has contributed more than 100 million pounds in charity. It's amazing, subhanallah. So, we, are, we need to keep it up. We need to govern, inshallah. So dear brothers and sisters, mashallah, jazakumullah khair for your spending time with us, inshallah. I hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you, inshallah, next week. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.